Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for watching me. I made thousands of dollars last year off of vintage linens, throw blankets, and pillows. So what I thought I would do today is research some and share some of the top selling brands and also show you some are not some are not branded some are vintage and sell really high all of the stuff i am going to show you sells for over a hundred dollars each and then at the end we will pick our winner for the list perfectly free month giveaway so let's get started All right, so I got to thinking that linens, pillows, things like that are very, very often overlooked at the thrift store. Also at garage sales, estate sales, online auctions, you can get them cheap and they can sell really high. So I would like to share with you some of those brands. These are not my solds, I wanna say. Um, this is from research that I did earlier this morning, but I'm going to show you some that I have that were in my death pile that need to be listed as well and tell you why I picked those up. So first I just want to show you this screenshot of Hermes scarves. Anything really Hermes sells really high. I know Chris, one of my personal coaching students, just sold two Hermes ties for I think a total of over a thousand dollars. She got them in a online auction lot I believe for only a couple of dollars each. So watch out for the name Hermes. That is something that sells really, really high. Here is one that sold for $1,800. So again, watch, here's another one, $1,450. These were put on auction and I can see why these people would put them on auction with these Hermes scarves as well as really anything that is in demand. And when it's Hermes, you have a name to go along with it. So personally, I would not put a lot of scarves on auction because the demand just isn't there. But when you add that name brand, it adds that element. So I completely agree with these sellers listing them as auctions. Now here I am zooming in so that you can see the mark of the scarf. It says Hermes Paris. So that is what you would look for when you are outsourcing. I feel like if it's marked Hermes, most people are going to know. However, if you buy a big auction lot, there's, there's a pretty decent chance you'll get some higher dollar scarves. And then I have never, ever, ever seen this. So I'm really glad I researched. This is just a handkerchief. It sold for $700. It's a small handkerchief, $700. Now I'm gonna show you here, zoomed in, it does say Martha Washington in the corner. So when you are looking at these items and listing, look everywhere, look for a name, and that gives you something to be able to look up and price comp these items that you find out. A lot of these are probably not going to be on eBay. These are rarer items, so you might need to use WorthPoint in order to research. If you don't know about WorthPoint, I personally use WorthPoint probably five to ten times a day, and it is a reference website. I don't use the reference part of it. I mainly use the pricing part and it goes back 10 years on eBay and other auction sites, which really gives you a good picture of what items are selling for. All right, another one, a vintage red polka dot. A red polka dot scarf, bandana, 19 by 21 inches, sold for $225. There is no mark, there is no mark, but this is something you could identify using Google Lens. Google Lens is free. Take a picture with your phone, it is an app on your phone. You very well might have found this scarf. And it's not just one. I wanted to show you this screenshot. It is not just one of them. So this stuff I'm showing you is stuff that showed up repeatedly when I was researching it came up a time and time again. So this is a turkey blue, white, and red bandana that sold for 225. 
and another turkey bandana that sold for $2.25. So keep an eye out for this style. Use Google Lens. There probably are some that look like them that are not worth as much, but do your research. This one is really, really, really cute. It's a vintage Valentine hanky. I feel like this could be priced like two or three dollars at even at an antique mall. It's Telephone Sweeties. It's 13 inches. It sold for $216. Another item you very likely might find in an online auction lot. I do have a video on how to use Hybid. Search the Nurse Flipper Hybid. You will find it. And here's a close-up. It was a woman talking on a telephone. This is a really, really cute print. And it's like vintage. It's retro, which is definitely in right now. So keep an eye out for ones like this. This is another one. This is another one. 1940s Peg Thomas. Now this one is marked. And I am going to show you the mark. This one sold for $196.50. And here you see on the bottom, it does say Peg Thomas. Again, on your scarves and hankies, look and see if you see a name. If you see a name like this, Peg Thomas, you could look up Peg Thomas handkerchief and you would find this sold comp. You would know it's worth that much money. So say you find this scarf at the antique mall for $20. Pick it up. It sold for almost $200. Pick it up. This was one I am not familiar with, so that's why I wanted to put this up there. This is Mazzoni Fowlard Italy Silk Scarf, sold for $180. Now, I wanted to put this one up because when I see Made in Italy, Made in France, Made in Germany, I pick that stuff up if it is cheap. I think it is something that you should keep an eye out for. Oh, I want to show you real quick. I'm wearing my new Nurse Flipper shirt. It came in the mail look it's just like my stickers it says a nurse flipper i it's it's so comfy it's a like the soft shirt um i will put a link in the comments for you to get your own nurse flipper merchandise if you want all right next another one not marked but look at the keywords in this title the seller did an amazing amazing job with keywords vintage cowboy handkerchief Bandana. They even spelled bandana wrong, let me point out. Music, hoedown, square dance, rockabilly, western. That is nothing but jam-packed with keywords. It sold for $160. Here is a close-up. Look, it is not branded. It is just a really cool themed handkerchief. Guys, keep an eye out. This is another brand that I was not familiar with. This is Carl Lagerfield. This is a Christmas silk scarf. I've never seen these before. This one sold for $144. Here you can see the signature. It says Carl Lagerfield on it. Again, you can research it where if they are asking more money for these items, look them up. It is okay to pay up for items that are going to sell for hundreds of dollars. Pay 20, make a hundred dollar profit. To me, that is a no brainer. And then another one, super, super cute. This one was Sansoni. It was signed, couple at the beach. But look at how cute the print is on this. That is probably a lot of the reason that it sold so high. Next, this is a Ralph Lauren scarf. It has flags, it is very colorful. You kind of learn the look with a lot of these that you get the intuition, I need to look into this more. And this is one that I would definitely have looked into more. It sold for $115. You can see here I zoomed in. On the flag it says RL. That is what's branding it as Ralph Lauren. And I was really surprised. I was not aware. But Ralph Lauren comes up in our, I think the blankets I know the blankets but I think maybe even the pillows as well so maybe not the pillows but keep an eye out for Ralph Lauren especially the green label um Lauren by Ralph Lauren I've learned is typically a little bit higher selling than just plain Ralph Lauren hey. another one this was not branded but the seller was smart this is something I feel like you would see at estate sales or online auctions and this vintage hanky they put Victorian, they put kite, they put American child, or American flag, sorry. 
Uh, it sold for $110 for a tiny hanky. But this is what made me think you might see it at an estate sale or an online auction. It has pinned to it a note that says Canton, Ohio, November 3rd, 1900. Pay attention when there are little notes inside of things, on things. They will give you the history of that item from the person that owned them before. Here's a close-up of that child, also the American flags. Again, this is a tiny, tiny handkerchief. All right, now we are going to move on to throw blankets. I have sold, again, thousands of dollars in throw blankets. It is something I always check out when I'm at the thrift store. Throw blankets, sheets, comforters, pillow. Check them out. If you're not looking at them, look at them. They don't break. They're really easy to photograph. They're really easy to ship. Look at them. All right. I had to show you guys this because this is absolutely insane. But you could find it. it, it you never know what you're going to find. And that is the fun treasure part of reselling. This blanket, this blanket sold for $7,924. It is a $20,000 blanket. Who's to say you're not going to find it? Don't say you won't because, you know, you need to get it in your head. I'm, I'm going to find one of these blankets. So, this is a Vicuna Blue made in Italy. Again, here is the tag. When I see made in Italy, when I see made in France, look this stuff up. Or if it's cheap, buy it, guys. Buy it. $8,000 for a blanket. Insane. Another thing I have not ran into, I learned a lot while researching these for you guys and they have opened my eyes even to more linen products. This is fox fur. It is real fox fur made in Canada. It sold for $1,773. Yes, for a blanket. Here is a close up. If you see fur items, look them up. Up. they sell for high dollar this is just insane I have never run across any fur blankets but who's to say that I won't in the future and now I will have it in my head if I see a fur blanket I'm gonna check it out all right Hermes again I was not aware that Hermes made blankets I did not know I don't know if I would have noticed these until now. Now I will. You can see the H on these. They sold for $1,200 and there were a lot of them. I'm just showing you a screenshot of three, but there were a lot of Hermes blankets that sold for over $1,000. Know the name Hermes, watch for it. It's not gonna be common that you're gonna find Hermes. It is not. I got a couple of Hermes ties in an online auction lot and I got them for a decent price. So they are out there. It just it's few and far between so I don't want you to think that you're just gonna walk into any thrift store and find an Hermes because you're probably not but you need to know just in case you come across one here is another fur throw blanket this one is beaver fur sold for $945 I'm, I, I might have to hunt some fur blankets after doing this video because these prices are absolutely insane all right, this is another brand that sells very, very high. Now, the one I have up for you is $599, but I would say more often is two to $300 for Pendleton blankets. This one is a Heroic Chief blanket. I did zoom in. So this was a collaboration between Pendleton and Beaver State. It does have the tag. You can see Beaver State. I did not know Beaver State was Pendleton. However, this is a blanket that I would have picked up and I would have researched. Or if I saw it online, I would research it just because of how it looks. So keep an eye out for Pendleton. I sold a Pendleton purse for like $40. Pendleton is a name brand that sells high. Here's another one. Pendleton is known for a lot of bright colors and the more colorful, the more it sells for. This Chi Huli Workshop number 10 blanket 
sold for $600. You can see it was a limited edition of $250. That is why it sold so high. So again, Pendleton blankets typically are going to go in the $200 to $300 range. Some might go for less, but keep your eye out for Pendleton. Here is a close-up of the tag on the blanket so that if you see these, you would know what you were looking at. All right, another brand I know because of clothing. Coogee sweaters sell for hundreds of dollars, if you do not know. They are bright, they are colorful, just like this blanket. I didn't know Coogee made blankets. I can say that this would have caught my eye if I came across it in person or in online and I would have looked it up. This blanket sold for $600. Here is a close up of the tag. That is the same tag that is on the sweaters and their clothing. Keep an eye out for Coogee. Another name I did not know, Loro Piana. 100% cashmere, made in Italy. So two things if I came across this blanket would have flagged me. Hey cat, you should look that up. One, it is cashmere. Cashmere is typically worth money. If you see something cashmere, feel it, it's soft, you'll, you, you'll know. It is also made in Italy. So two things that I know I definitely would have looked this up. This sold for $536. Here is a close-up of the tag saying 100% cashmere made in Italy. I always look at the tags on blankets. All right, I wanted to show you another Pendleton to show you how bright they really get. This Pendleton Chief Joseph Nez Perez sold for $500. $500 for a blanket. How crazy is that? 500 bucks. And then I have, I have sold some sheets from this brand. Look at this and you're going to be blown away by where it is made. This is simply shabby chick by Rachel Aswell. You need to know that pillows, blankets, pillowcases, sheets, anything simply chick by Rachel Ashwell. Know it. Floral satin trimmed blanket. It says simply shabby chick. Look at where it's made. This is made in China. Made in China and it's still sold for $430. This name, this brand, tons of hundreds and hundreds of dollars of items were sold when I was doing my research. Scooby-Doo, I always look at cartoon characters, concerts, movie stars. This is just a fleece throw blanket, guys. This is 50 by 60. It sold for $400. It is from the Cartoon Network. You can see here the tag that says Cartoon Network and Scooby-Doo. Do not pass these up. They're cheap. Most thrift stores, they're $3.99 to $4.99. Check the blanket section when you are out thrifting. This one surprised me. This one surprised me. This is a Victoria's Secret Pink Friday Sherpa Blue blanket. I have picked up a couple of Victoria's Secret blankets. Mine sold more in the $30 to $40 range, but this goes to show in every category, every brand, there are ones that will stand out. Do your research. Don't spend a ton of time on research. I don't spend a ton of time on it, but definitely look it up. This one sold for $400, $400, and it's a Victoria's Secret blanket. Here is Ralph Lauren on the blankets. This is Houndstooth. If you look closely at this pattern, Houndstooth sells very, very well. This Ralph Lauren blanket that was a full size sold for $350. Watch for blankets. And then a Nike plush blanket, Nike, $350. There are a lot of these that I was like, I was blown away. I know they can sell for high money, but I was really surprised at some of these. So this one sold for $350. Here's the tag, Nike Sportswear made in Oregon and very, very high selling item. All right, this brand kept coming up a lot as well. This is CC Filson. Now I put this up for two reasons. One, to show you the brand because I saw a lot of CC Filson selling for hundreds of dollars. Two, to show you Smokey the Bear. Way back in the beginning of my YouTube channel about two years ago, I found two Smokey the Bear posters rolled up in a trash can from an online auction. They sold for over $300 each. Watch out for Smokey the Bear stuff. Watch out for this brand, CC Filson. 
this said made in Portugal, which is another thing that would have made me look it up if I had found this. And it sold for almost $300. Here is a close-up of the package. This one is new, so if it was used, it would probably sell for a little bit less. This was only a twin size blanket. Again, $300. Here's another of Rachel Ashwell's Simply Shabby Chick. They sell high, $300. $300 for a blanket that you could get at a yard sale or thrift store for $5 to $10 check them out look at this pink floral pattern i always look at the florals and look at the tags on these look up the names they might look cheap they might even feel cheap but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to sell for a lot of money close up again made in china simply shabby chick you see the little satin lining there really really good money all right another name you know but you wouldn't think of in blankets this is 2011. It is not vintage. It is a Levi's blanket and it sold for $275. Almost $300 for a Levi's blanket. I have a Crayola sleeping bag I need to get up that should sell for over $100 as well. Watch for brands you know, even if it's on stuff that you do not expect it to be on, like a blanket because a lot of that stuff sells. There are collectors for these name brands and this stuff can sell really, really high. Here's a close up of that tag, Levi's Vintage Clothing. Again, this is not vintage though. This is not vintage, it was from 2011. All right, Johnny Was. Johnny Was kept coming up in my searches as well. This one sold for 225. These are big floral spa splash patterns. I couldn't find a picture of the tag. I think most people are, that are selling these are selling them new, but keep an eye out. Another character blanket. Batman DC Comics. This one is a woven tapestry, which I love to pick up as well. Sold for $223. $223 for a Batman throw. There on the bottom, you can see this one is vintage. It says 1995 DC Comics. Watch your corners for tags or like this sewn into the blankets to identify what you are looking at. All right, this is the first one that is not branded. This one is handmade. It sold for $200. It is a crocheted Afghan blanket. Look at the pattern. Look at this, how amazing and colorful it is. With the Afghans, the more colorful, the more colors, the more it pops. This one is like 3D flowers. That is what makes this stuff valuable. There are a lot that are not. They're still good flips, you know, like $30, $40, $50. But when you get into the ones that sell for high money, they're going to be loud. They're going to be bright. They're going to be colorful and they're going to have an amazing pattern. All right, Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn Baraby. This is a weighted blanket for babies. I have never seen these. I do know to look up Pottery Barn linens. I've sold several Pottery Barn pillowcases for $20 from $1. 20 bucks for a Pottery Barn pillowcase. These blankets sell for over $150, very regular. This one sold for $189. Here is the tag. They are called Baraby the Tree Napper. And here is what they look like on the inside, just in case you see this blanket without seeing the packaging. Now, weighted blankets I look at, I know because weighted blankets are extremely expensive. I found one at my local thrift store. I actually kept it for myself but weighted blankets sell very, very high. Another handmade one. Again, trying to show you these loud, bright patterns. And I want you to pay attention to these keywords. Roseanne is a keyword on these Afghans. Granny square, handmade, crochet, Afghan blanket throw. They put green because green is the primary color. $189, guys, $189. And I have not seen any anthropology but depending on where you're located there might be a lot of anthropology near you so this anthropology throw blanket sold for $199 almost $200 for an anthropology throw blanket here is the tag so that you will know when you are looking at it and I will point out again it says made in Italy made in Italy all right this is another one that kept coming up repeatedly over $150 
I have never seen these. I've never heard of this. This is Missoni Home. Wool is a key here. I think wool is itchy personally, but wool blankets sell for high dollar. This one sold for $189.99. Here is the tag. I do not see where there's a marking on the blanket itself from the seller's pictures. There might be, there might not be. This one was new with the tags. Here is another handmade item. Vintage Hearts and Roses Chanel Bedspread. $179. Keep an eye out for these blankets. Here is a close-up of the Chanel showing the hearts and the roses. There are keywords there. Chanel, roses, hearts that people might look for. And it sold for $180. Another brand that you know, but you probably know it for shoes. I did not know Ugg made blankets. But Ugg makes blankets. And this one was only 50 by 70 and it sold for $165. So watch for the name brand Ugg on things other than shoes. Another brand I have not heard of that kept coming up repeatedly over $100, Johnson's of Elgin. But woolen cashmere made in Scotland. Again, things I know to look for. Made in Scotland, wool, cashmere sells for high money keep an eye out for these here's a close-up of that tag johnson's of elgin 60 percent wool 40 percent cashmere you got them both it's going to be big money williams sonoma is a brand i know to watch out for there are lots of different items from williams and sonoma this is again cashmere 100 percent cashmere 50 by 65 these are not big blankets these are small throw blankets and it sold for 159 dollars and 99 cents keep an eye out here is another picture of how the seller showed it folded which is one of the ways that i show mine as well so keep an eye out on these blankets all right last one for the blankets another handmade crochet granny square this is double bed size sold for a hundred look at the colors guys look at the colors really really bright and vibrant colors is what sells high all right are you ready for the pillows some of these blew me away and I know that they sell for high money. I myself have sold pillows 50, 60, 70, 100 dollars and some of these sales are going to blow you away. If you are not looking at pillows, particularly needlepoint pillows, I also look at pillowcases, but what I'm going to show you are all needlepoint pillows that have sold for high. This first one sold for $600 for two pillows. $600. The big thing and I sold a pillow that had a jockey and horses and equestrian. Those are keywords and those sell high. $600 for these pillows. Here is a close up so you can see. These are not branded guys. Most of these are not branded. You're going to see a couple that are but the majority of them are not. Even closer up of the stitches so you can see these are needlepoint pillows this one a pair of vintage wool needlepoint silk with flowers four hundred and fifty dollars for two pillows are you convinced to look at the pillows yet four hundred and fifty dollars here is a close-up of the flowers it is all needlepoint very very nice pillows and they sold for good money all right again think of the keywords think of what you have in your title that will sell the item look at this one vintage italy needlepoint pillow tapestry piazza della signoria square florence if you can identify where the location is put it in the title 425 dollars for one pillow i know i'm being loud on this video but i want to get it across you don't need to spend a lot of money. You can find pillows for a dollar and two and five and turn them into a hundred plus dollars really, really easy. And my pillows tend to sell very fast. Now, this one did have a tag. This is the Italy one. It just says dry cleaning made in Italy. It is not branded though. It is not branded. Don't pass up made in Italy, guys. Do not pass it up. All right. This came up a lot in these higher dollars. And by this, I mean the Springer Spaniel. This says antique English Victorian dog needlepoint topper, lush fringe pillow, a Spaniel. 
keywords. They are using their keywords and they got $341 for a pillow. A pillow. And then this is Jonathan Adler. I have not seen nor heard of any of his pillows. I am familiar with his ornaments and some of his figurines. I didn't know he made pillows. His Barbie pillow sold for $350. Here is the back. You can see the JA in the bottom for Jonathan Adler. I'm going to show you another Jonathan Adler here in a couple of minutes that will show you that JA up a little bit closer. All right. Wool needlepoint throw pillow handmade floral roses light green 18 inches sold for 323 dollars i would have added victorian into that title by the way 323 dollars here is another one with a charles spaniel a dog 294 dollars people love their pets people collect stuff with their pets watch for stuff with pets on it this one caught me off guard. It's just a sea turtle. Really simple. Never would have thought. But this 21 inch needlepoint turtle pillow sold for $294. How crazy is that? $294 for a pillow. And then a Yorkie. I just sold a Yorkie cookie jar for over $100. This Yorkie needlepoint pillow, 16 inches, sold for $275 dollars 275 dollars how crazy is that and then this one is a needlepoint petite point so the petite point or petty point i know i'm going to get hit on my pronunciation but they are smaller stitches and i'm actually going to show you some pillows that i picked up and show you a little bit where you can see the difference so this 17 by 12 inch pillow with the winter cabin sold for 239 dollars here is a close-up. You can see the stitches are smaller than they are on most needlepoint pillows. That is what makes this petty point. And then Williamsburg. These are branded. These are branded. Pheasants, blue and white, two pillows, $202. Here is the tag. It says Williamsburg. If you found these at the thrift store, you would be able to look up Williamsburg pillow and you would see that they sell that high. Do your research when you see pillows that catch your eye. All right, a rooster, a rooster. The big thing with this one is it is Aubusson wool. So this one does have a tag. There were a lot of Aubusson pillows that sold high. This one sold for $200. And it is a rooster pillow. That's all it is, a rooster pillow, $200. And then Cartha Diddle Folk Art Needlepoint. This is another petite point or petty point pillow. Here I want to show you, you can see the difference on this child's face where it is small stitches compared to around her face where it is longer stitches. So that is what makes it petty point. And then I sold a lot of these and I told people they sell for big money. Needlepoint embroidered cushion covers, a set of six sold for $150. Here is the close up. It's not even the chair. It's just the chair covers, $150. And then a nativity scene, $129 for a 16 inch pillow. Na I, I pay close attention to stuff that is nativity, whether it's figurines or cross stitch or pillows or blanket, nativity stuff sells. Here is a close up. This one is very, very small woven so that you can see there the quality. Now, this came up when I was searching for pillows and I wanted to make sure to show you. It is a pillow needlepoint kit. It is not even the pillow. It is not done. It is brand new, sealed in the package. It is Erica Wilson with Gardens and Birds and it sold for $150. It is a needlepoint pillow kit. Here it is up close. Keep your eye on the cross stitch kits while you're out there too. All right, here is the other Jonathan Adler pillow that I promised you. This one was a pink elephant. Here is a close up of that JA on the back so that you will know to recognize those. I again did not know anything about these Jonathan Adler pillows until I did this research. So this has been very, very educational for me and I get to share it with you. Next is an Elizabeth Bradley needlepoint. This is Cyclamen Flowers. Again, the bright, the bold, the vibrant. 
$135 for a pillow. Here is a close-up of that needlepoint stitching on that one. You will see these are close. These are tight stitches. These are very well done. So you do need to make sure that your pillows look nice. Some more spaniels and their wool needlepoint pillows. King Charles spaniels. Two of them sold for $130. Again, most of the thrift stores I go to, pillows are a dollar to two each. At state sales, they're typically five dollars. If you can take that and turn it into a hundred or two hundred dollars, why would you not look at the pillows? Close up of that puppy. Here is another one. Petty Point Rose in Basket. Roses in Basket. They they misspelled that one. It's still sold. Roses in Basket Needlepoint Pillow Cover Cushion. They are putting in keywords that they think people will sell for it. Sold for $129. Look at the beautiful Petty Point stitching. Again, look at the roses compared to the white around it, and you can see the stitching is smaller. And then this one, another, but they, they use my keyword. They use Victorian. Vintage Finish Needlepoint Throw Pillow Victorian Floral Pink Tassel Fringe. Again, packed full of keywords. That is how you sell these. People need to be able to find them. This one sold for $100. This one is Petty Point. You can see the small stitches there. And yeah. So I hope this has been educational for you. Let's go ahead and pick our winner for a month of free List Perfectly, which is up to a $70 value. I use the Pro because it copies more stuff over and I have to do less work. So it's $69.99 a month. But again, we typically get $50 plus dollars a day. So about $1,500 plus in sales. So I'm happy to pay the $69.99. So let's go see. I'm, who I'm going old school and recording this with my phone. Here you can see I put in the link to the video filter duplicate users you can only enter once include replies to comments and list perfectly we have 291 comments so let's go over here to start raffle and pick random winner delane kittle lists perfectly so delane kittle please email me cat at the nurse flipper .com and i will i just need your email address and i will get it over to list perfectly congrats delane congrats to the winner congrats email me cat at the nurse flipper .com with your email i will forward that on to list perfectly and they will get you hooked up with your free month now let's take a look at some pillows and throw blankets that i have picked up recently that are in my death pile that need to be listed and i want to show you just some things to look for all right so here are some pillows i picked these up at goodwill i just want to show you goodwill a dollar 99 All of these pillows were $1.99 at Goodwill. I expect to get probably $50 plus for them. I wanted to show you side by side here. You can see the smaller stitching on this one compared to this one and compared to that one. So these would be petty point and then these would just be regular needle point. And then here are some throw blankets. I wanted to show you guys this one. Actually, there's a wasp on it. Do you see it? I hope it doesn't bite me. I don't know how it got in the shed. Okay now that we have a wasp scare um i think this is actually a tablecloth with the fringe and this is not branded but it was in a lot with this one and then that one this one is not branded as well but should be easy to keyword when i'm in the store i look in the four corners and this is why you see here churchill hand woven craft mark so that and then here is another tag just a good example pure wool and scotch so this one's plain, but I got it for $5 at a garage sale. So these are some of the ones that I will be listing soon. If you guys have had big sales on them, let me know down in the comments. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. Don't forget my cool nurse flipper shirt. They're so soft. I'm so happy with this. They just came in yesterday. Dalton has one too, but it's really big because the used small was like, it's like a dress on him. But I have the shirts. I have handbags. I have sweatshirts. I have a bunch of stuff. And... 
I will be leaving on Sunday to head up to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I look forward to meeting everybody on the 21st at Surfside Salvation Army in Myrtle Beach at 10 a.m. Don't forget that. Have a great weekend, guys, and yeah, I will see you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know, and if there are other types of items you see me sell that you would like me to do this with and tell you like do some research for some higher dollar brands or types of stuff to sell let me know down in the comments what type of items you would like me to do it on it was really fun to research and i learned and i get to share it with you so yeah i will see you guys next time again have a great weekend bye all right so here is my mess of a desk before I'll show again my lovely Kachina display up here for those of you who have not seen it. I don't know why I still have the Christmas sign. But this is before. I'm hoping to have an after to show you right now. All right. I'm so proud of this. Here is my desk after. Look at all of the beautiful clear space. So I made some good progress.